Congratulations on the purchase of your MDC Forbes 12 Plus. In this instructional video, we will show you how to assemble the annex that goes underneath the electric awning. Some of the rules with assembling an annex is don't force things. Remember, you're dealing with canvas. Don't overstress it, don't stretch it. Put it up in a nice, firm, relaxed fashion. Now I've already set up the draft skirt on the side of the caravan. It clips in with press studs across the top and I've pegged out the bottom. Now I need to lay out the floor in front of the draft skirt. Now that my floor's laid out, I'm using the end wall, so at the back of the caravan, and sliding it into the sail track, which is located just before the end here. So we thread our insert in and carefully guide it up the sail track, making sure it feeds smoothly, doesn't catch and doesn't tear. Now, I can put the sock over the end of the awning. Now, to support the end wall, we've got the aluminium strut with the clamp on it. Find the end with this particular hook on it, and that is the end that goes in towards the caravan and clips onto the little round bar. So what we do is we feed that into there, being gentle, making sure it feeds in smoothly. Now, we can feed it in the rest of the way. Ready to attach onto the little white bar in the corner. So now we slide it through the rest of the way, clip on over that white bar, and we're ready to fasten it into the fascia of the annex. Now we rest this end in on top of the hinge for this leg. And that's done. To tidy up this corner, now we just get the Velcro together. And that tidies that up. Now we're going to put the front wall up along the fascia of the awning. Now there is a sail track just along here. Now, there's only one entry on these. Simply, we start it off into the sail track, feed it along gently, making sure as it goes into the track, it's smooth and not catching on anything. Now we've got to there, I just go up the end, pull it gently across. It's that easy. Now. We'll start enclosing the corners so everything comes up square and finish off the front. Now, because this wall comes out at a slight angle, I'm going to join the corners and the Velcro up before I peg the walls down. It's just that little bit easier to get the Velcro lined up and attached neatly. Plus, what I can do is rest the back of the Velcro against the pole, which gives me something to press down on and make sure the Velcro joins securely. all the way down to the bottom, and that is neat as a pin. Now, I'm going to attach the piece that fits across the front of the fridge slide. I'm gonna put it in here in readiness to put the roof and the other walls up. Find the sail track, just down on the front of the caravan here. Slide it in. Gently feed it up through. You might have to work it a little bit on the bend here. But once you're past it, it's nice and easy. There is a second piece, which you'll have to feed in gently back into the sail track. So line that up, give it a push. So now we just feed that up to the top, almost there. And our Velcro is ready to line up with the draft skirt just below. So now we're going to attach the roof infill. This needs to go into the other clamping aluminium strut. So we find our sail track cord there. 
and gently slide it into the extrusion. Nice and gentle like that. Remember, that's the hood that goes over the end of the awning mainframe. Now, we'll pop that into place. Again, pop the clip over the little plastic bar. Just place the other end on top of the hinge into its groove. Now, before we put up the poles at this end, it's going to be much easier to join the Velcro from the roof infill to the extension of the front wall. It's always easy to do the Velcro if you can when it's all relaxed and not held out by ropes, etc. That's the Velcro attached on the other side. See how I used the caravan itself as a backing to push it down. The better you press the Velcro together, the better the fit, the tighter it is, and the less chance that the wind will blow it open. Now at both ends, we just tuck the awning canvas in underneath the clamps. Be gentle, don't force it. Make sure you don't rip anything. That's neatly tucked in. Now we can go inside and clamp it up so it will hold that annex canvas firm and it won't flat. Now simply just close the cam locks. That's it. Our roof is clamped in. Now we can insert our spigot poles on both sides of the roof infill, rope it out and the structure will be up and supported. Now just tighten the ropes. Now we can Velcro up our last wall panel. Get it all neat and lined up. What I'm doing again is using the pole as a backing to press down on the Velcro and get it straight and even. Now that's enough. That'll keep it nice and square and I can start Velcroing across the roof section. Because this annex is such a good fit, I'm able to line up the two eyelets from the corners on these two pieces and the eyelet in the floor piece and use one peg. That'll keep everything square right where it should be. Now I can peg all the walls down in place around the floor and put the last remaining poles in place. With the three remaining poles, the bendy one goes along the center of the roof and clips in up here and its little round holder up against the caravan. The spigot pole goes into this eyelet. We adjust that up to give more support at the front of the annex. And we've got one in the corner that fits into a sock and runs down to the bottom corner down near the pegs. So that's how we set up the annex on the Forbes 12 Plus. Now you're ready for more space for the extended stay.